What's up, guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. Today, we're going to talk about Sam's 2021 F-150, and we've got a little project. We're going to take care of the rust on the underside of my brand new 2021 F-150. Now, guys, I know you shouldn't have to do this on a brand new truck. You shouldn't have to do it on a brand new anything. He paid a lot for it. He paid a whole lot for the truck. So we're not going to gripe. We're just going to take care of the problem. And if you're interested in taking care of the problem, this is a video you're going to want to watch because you can do this out in your garage. We do have a little lift that we're very fortunate to be able to use. Uh, but you can do this on some roll-up stands or jack it up. You, know, you the, could crawl under there probably. We'll put a link to some stands that you could pull your truck onto. Yep. Um, I actually found these on Amazon. Yes, we do make a buck or two if you buy them, but they're cheaper than they are at the auto parts store by about 15 bucks yep. on Amazon right now. So just, you know, I know you can run out and grab them, but you're going to pay more. So hit it up, hit that link. Appreciate it. Let's get this thing jacked up and see what we're working with. All right, guys, this is the worst of mine. The backside of my diff and axle looks pretty clean. I'm still going to hit a couple spots. It's the, the pinion side um, of the diff on mine that has the most rust. Now, I've got a wire brush here. You can see knocking just a little bit off. But you can tell the rust on this, on my particular rear end, isn't the flaky kind. You that, don't have flaky rust on your rear end. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and if unless this is coming off and flaking off, there's no need to spend a ton of time trying to get this off. I mean, you're not going to do much to the surface just by doing this. You're just smearing the rust that's there around a little bit. Um, so I've even got a drill with a brush on it. Let me show you what it'll do. That. Hold on, let me see that. Bob Ross style it. Show me your brush. So, I mean, even if you're using one of these. You can see that's going to be a whole lot faster, but it's not going to get everything perfectly clean anyway. Um, and this uh, coating that we have is going to go over that and cover it just fine. Now, if yours is a uh, severe case, I would probably hit this with some primer. And the coating we're going to show you uh, will allow you to put primer on beforehand. But uh, we're down here in the south. Rust isn't as big of a problem. And uh, we're just going to use this undercoating. So let me show that to you. One more thing, guys. If you got a spot, I, I can feel this one. Uh, it's a little thicker. You, anything that would be chip, that would chip off, you want to get chipped off. That way, um, the coating doesn't have a chance to flake off as well. But as far as surface rust, I wouldn't spend too much time really detailing the crap out of this thing because this undercoating is going to take care of that for you. And what we're, we're going to try to use, guys, is the uh, Pro-Grade Rust-Oleum Undercoating. And uh, why they have a Pro-Grade and Standard Grade, I don't know. But uh, I would always use the Pro-Grade if I could. Um, we'll have a link in the description for some of this. Um, I think I can get away with one can, but I bought two just in case. And, uh, you know, if you've got a, a whole lot more rust than this, you may need two cans. But uh, let's see how far this stuff goes and how it applies. Down to the metal. And see, going down to the metal just takes away another layer of protection that you got. So, you know, you can't overdo it. So, here's this uh, spray coating. This is going to be a lot thicker than a paint. Um, this is paintable after the fact. Um, and uh, I've also been told that it stays tacky for a day or two, uh, but you supposedly can paint over it anyway. But let's see how this stuff goes on. Beautiful Clark. I know a lot of you guys are cringing because I didn't wipe this down with acetone and all kinds of stuff, but I mean, 
this is a show car quality finish this is get it protected and uh, keep it from rusting some more so um, this ought to do the trick make sure you get it from all angles um, don't want to miss any spots says to use two coats so I'm going to put a light one on and uh, throw another light coat on over the top of that I'm going to prep around some of these other areas make sure there's no uh, flaking or anything and get a light coat on everything so you can tell back here the rear of the diff and the rear of the rear end it's in much better shape it's barely any surface rust um, I'm going to go ahead and hit it um, I'm trying to stay off of all the connectors and stuff it's not going to hurt anything um, one thing i am going to miss this sticker on your diff if you ever need to reference exactly what uh, diff you had let me take you in the sticker right here so what this is guys this is the uh, sticker at the factory that's going to tell you what rear end it is this tells you it's a 975 but you can put in this code and it's going to tell you your gear ratio and everything so if you ever need any parts or anything like that, it's going to make it easy to find exactly what you need. So if you can, don't paint over that. Uh, you may even want to take a picture of it so you've got it on your phone or something for future use. But uh, there's a little bonus tip. Yeah, I mean, there's really not that much prep work that needs to be done back here. It's already smooth. There's no flaking. I'm just going to add a second layer uh, back here so we know we're good and protected. We really appreciate you watching this video today. And if you've got this problem, we feel for you. If you've got this problem, it's probably worse than Sam's. Uh, do us a favor and go ahead and subscribe down below. Turn on that notification bell. That way you'll know when we post content. Um, we would really appreciate that. That's how we grow on YouTube and that's how we can afford to do all this cool stuff. Uh, also, give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. It really helps us with YouTube's algorithm. Thanks. I know you guys don't want to watch paint dry so he's going to finish up and we're going to show you the whole finished product here in just a second all right we've got two coats on um, by we you mean you by yeah me so i used just one can just a tad bit left if you've got anything worse than mine i'd go ahead and get you a second can you're going to want it just in case Brad's gonna get us some footage of what it looks like now with the fresh uh, undercoating job on it. If you wanna see anything that's been done to my truck, we've got a playlist, tons of mods on this thing. Uh, go check out that playlist, we'll put it in the description. That way, if there's anything you see on this truck you wanna know more about it, go check it out. Sam has done an excellent job. I'm kinda checking him out here. I don't see any problems. This thing looks better than new. Cause we know new didn't look great. These got it good and clean. Let's check the other side out. It's even got the knuckle right here. All back in here. Oh, I just touched it. See, all that was rusted. That's typical on almost everything. No rust. This looks better than new. And because it's this thicker coating, I bet you it's gonna look better longer. All down in here was rusted. It got all that out. Good and perfect over in here. And just like that, another quality Miser Brothers job and I didn't even get my hands dirty. It's because all you do is hand me tools, just like every time we work on a truck or a car. But I had to handle this camera. Somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> and it's a clean job, but somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> Guys, Sam's going to be trying to supercharge this thing. We've got issues with that because you can't tune these yet, so we're working through that. Got um, a couple emails out, though. We'll see what happens on that. Also going to do a big graphics package, working on the, all the designs for that right now. It's um, going to be sick. 
pumped about it. I'm kind of jealous, and I'm probably going to have to do something on mine now to catch up with the times. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.